Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking this link. If you want other Disney content, be sure to click the subscribe button while you're here. Today is going to be very fun. Also, maybe a little bit intense because I am going to be sharing my entire Disney purse slash bag collection. I have so many bags that I truly, truly love, but I was unaware of exactly how many of those there were. I will have a link down below to every single bag. If you see something that you like, be sure to check that out down below if you're interested in getting it. But I think we're just going to jump right into it. And I think it would be really fun to start with some of the things that came from the international Disney parks. First up is this Minnie Mouse purse. I love her metallic eyeshadow. I got this from Disneyland Paris, but I know that it has made its rounds on the Shop Disney app. But she's really cool. She's a great size for daily use. Um, there's an extra little pocket on the inside, but really classic Minnie Mouse bag. I love this bag. It gets a lot of really, really good use. Probably my favorite bag from the International Parks is this Donald Duck purse from Tokyo Disneyland. It has Donald on the bike on this side, and then we have the triplets on the back. It is crazy fun. I have really fallen in love with Donald. Um, it's got a really fun print on the inside as well that I want you guys to be able to see. It really carries that kind of like bike motif. So my friend brought this back for me when he was at Tokyo Disneyland. It might be from the Disney store in the Tokyo Disneyland, like downtown Disney area, but it is from Tokyo. I love it so much. It like weirdly feels like really high fashion. Like I feel like this can work with a lot of like really kind of wild designer stuff. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Also from Tokyo is this little French fry bag. This is technically a pencil case, but I have used it before. It holds my phone and it's just enough space for like my phone and my wallet if I'm doing a really light day in the park, but I love it because it's got, for one, it's got Mickey and Minnie on either side, but the greatest thing is they are Mickey shaped french fries and they are dreamy flavor. This thing absolutely cracks me up. Another friend of mine was going to Tokyo right after Stella Lou got announced. So for my birthday, she picked me up the pass holder bag. So what's really big in Tokyo are these face purses. They're like plushy, but you've got a little slot here for your ID, for your annual pass. And then you have a tiny little pouch. Ooh, there's a bonus hair tie in there. Cool. You've got a tiny pouch for like your lipstick, your whatever other little things you need to have on you at the park. But I am in love with Stella Lou. I love the size of her. What I think is so clever is the straps run through her ears here on the back. So her ears really don't flop down, but she's a lot of fun, man. She's a lot of fun. And my BFF Sarah just came back from Tokyo and brought me back this beautiful white plush Minnie Mouse purse. She has a matching one in black. They did come out in pink, but she couldn't find them anywhere in the park because these have been super popular, but it's got a really beautiful gold chain and the space is not too bad in it. It's not huge but it's definitely more room than all the other kind of pass holder bags. This is more of a proper like mini purse, <laughs> mini purse, but super beautiful. I'm terrified of getting it dirty. Um, I do not want to worry about cleaning this sucker because she a beaut. These two bags are from Shanghai Disneyland. This I've never even like used. It still has the tag on it, but it is a pretty wild, Alice in Wonderland kind of pouch. It's less of a purse and more of like a pouch. You could use it as a clutch if you wanted, but it's got like the Tim Burton Alice characters more in a classic Alice in Wonderland kind of art style. And it's Tim Burton Alice because it is based off of the maze that is in Shanghai Disneyland. My last bag from the international parks that I still have and love is the freaking Pegasus purse. So when they have the Fantasia carousel, a lot of like really beautiful things came out that were kind of going off of that motif, but she's got beautiful flowers. 
coming off of her. There's a lot of really great detail, a lot of like 3D um, embroidered work on her to really kind of give her a lot of texture. Here's the issue with this bag is it, it's pretty sizable, but the pouch to put things in is really small. So I used to have an iPhone Plus that would not fit in here, but it's it can fit like an iPhone 10 at least. Now, um, I don't use her a whole lot because I don't want to like destroy her in any way, shape, or form because I think she is so beautiful and stunning and classic. Same on both sides too. She's great. Fly away. Moving on, I want to talk about Danielle Nicole. Danielle Nicole does a lot of really crazy, wild, out there Disney designs. I've had a few more pieces than what I have left in my collection, but this was the first one that I bought. If I remember correctly, this was with the first Disney collab she did. It was a Snow White series, and I thought this was like super fun. It looks like a mini backpack, but it's actually a crossbody, and I thought the apple was very cool. I really love the glitter. Um, it was just kind of weird and funky. The one bite, I don't know, something was really unique about this bag, so I snatched it up the day that it went on sale. These other two pieces are my favorite Danielle Nicole pieces that I've seen her release. This is just a beautiful, beautiful clutch. I am a sucker for anything with the Cinderella birds on it, but it is a envelope clutch. Um, pretty simple, works really great for dressing up a little bit more. I used it for a Cinderella Disney Mouth for Dapper Day. That was pretty great, but the metallic is really nice. I think this bow is great, and the birds, like I said, are just one of my favorite single most Disney things ever are the birds from Cinderella, and they're just, they're so cute, and like, they still got the little hat. Uh, I love this. I don't use this enough. I need to use this more. Oh, <gasps> I found stuff in this bag that I've been looking for. This bag is so amazing. I love Lucifer. This is another Danielle Nicole bag. What I love so much about him is that he's really lightweight. A lot of faux fur can still really be kind of heavy, but he's not. And he's got like a little bit of coloration in him. It's kind of hard to see in the light. Oh, there you go. So he's not like a solid flat fur color. He's got like a little bit more kind of dimension to him. But look at this guy. I was going to say look at this cool cat, but that felt bad. And then I just said it anyway. And an amazing size. I've styled him with a lot of really kind of wild things. For some reason, he just always goes with like every outfit. And I don't know why. Maybe that's just me making it happen in my brain. Next up, super quickly, I have two Loungefly bags. Loungefly does a lot of Disney stuff, but they also do a lot of Marvel things. And I saw this at Comic-Con last year. It is an Agent Carter purse. And I fell in love with it because it's super kind of girly and feminine. But if you're an Agent Carter fan, then you know. It has the SSR emblem right here which is basically the founding part of shield but it's also cool because it has a beautiful lining it's very feminine but it's still marvel and i love 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 this bag and my other lounge fly piece was my christmas present from my friend christina last year and it is a mjolnir clutch because i love thor so much but it's got a hammer on this like how amazing is this for a thor Disney bound. And you can surprisingly fit a lot of stuff in this guy. It zips on the bottom. I guess it depends on like, you know, if you're holding it as a clutch, you're going to be holding it like that. So it's technically the top, even though it's the bottom of the hammer. Don't worry about it. But there's quite a bit of space in here given the size of this bag. But man, this thing cracks me up and I just adore it so much. Like I'm just looking at it just makes me smile. It's great. Also a friend over in the UK who sent me two pieces from Primark, which is kind of like a, 
a budgety type store over in the UK. I don't really know what the equivalent of that in the US is, but I wish that we had Primark because everything is really cheap and they do a lot of really cool licensed stuff. So one of the things he sent me was this Mrs. Potts bag. I don't even really know what you fully use this for, to be honest, like maybe makeup. Uh, I don't know, random little trinkets, but dude, she's super fun. Her handle is like actually plastic, but I don't know, man. Primark is just doing like really fun stuff over there. And more recently, he just sent me this beautiful white rabbit bag. He's actually furry. You can see he's got like really short white fur, a big old glittery nose. This expression is fantastic. And the zipper pull is kind of like his little, little bunny tail. It's got a silver chain. My only thing with this bag also is again, the compartment is really tiny. When I first like took it out of the box, I was like, is this a children's bag? But the chain is too long to be like a kid's bag. Like this is an adult bag, but your phone like has to live in your pocket and then you just put the essentials in this but man Primark is doing so much cool stuff and I'm really happy to have him like in my collection oh my gosh look at this boop, boop. a few other random pieces I just got this Vera Bradley Alice in Wonderland collection this is a pretty old collection but I found this piece really cheap it's quilted which is interesting it's not my favorite thing to have in a bag but I didn't really have anything like this but I love the really big Alice design and all of these like little fun card suit pieces but what's really interesting about this bag is you've got like a built-in you can see that I never used it you've got a built-in ID holder here which is awesome for your annual pass and you've got wallet slips like in here so this is like definitely intended to be used as a day pack it's amazing for the parks which is why i got it it seems like a perfect size for me for a day in disneyland and it's got this really oh you know what there's a slip in here that'll even tell you it has a charger pocket so this little slip even says like this handy pocket holds your charger pack thread your charging cable through the grommet and connect your phone so inside of this bag you can see that there is a grommet and that grommet goes to the outside pouch here so the idea is that in this little hole pocket right here you would put your external battery you would run your cable through this grommet and your phone would stay charged but be plugged in but be separate so you're not like having your cable wrapped around your battery pack while you have it in your bag. So that was really kind of a fun selling point for this piece. This, I almost didn't even include this bag, but I almost kind of want to use it as a PSA because I really love Kath Kidson's collection. She's been doing a lot more Disney collections. More recently just released an Alice in Wonderland collection which I did get a piece from but it is currently not at my house yet and this was a really fantastic floral print. It is so girly. I love Daisy looking super sassy and this collection is pretty old so I got this on sale for super cheap but here's the thing so Kathy Kitson makes kids things also. This was part of the kids collection and it said that it was a mini backpack and I was like I love mini backpacks it will be great but this is as long as the straps go. It It, it is literally a backpack for four-year-olds. Um, I don't even think like a 10-year-old could get this on. That's literally how big the straps go. So I want to make this into a crossbody bag i just haven't really had the time to do it because bag wise like space is really nice and the print was so cute i couldn't not get it i will make it work at some point i have another mini collection of harvey's bags and harvey's bags are made entirely out of seat belts they do custom print they do custom colors and they have a lot of different disney licensed collections so i have two pieces from the steamboat willie 
collection. First up is this bag that is actually called the Park Hopper bag. And it is a backpack or a crossbody, depending on how you run the straps. It's one of their most popular silhouettes. They do a lot of different prints and stuff in this style, but this one features the Steamboat Willie pattern that they custom made. And it's pretty cool because you can see Pete, you see the goat, a lot of fun and it's super sturdy. I can fit so much stuff in here. I love that it's like silky smooth and I really love that they always put fun details. You'll find a tag like this on all of their Disney pieces also. This one also came with a Steamboat Willie keychain little charm on there and also from that collection which I like even more than the Park Hopper is the Lifesaver from Steamboat Willie. Such a fun little detail to pluck from the short. And it's really great. This is their mini circle silhouette, but the seatbelts have like a really nice sheen to them, which I didn't really pay attention to before. And then once I had it, I was like, oh, this is nice. The zipper pull on this collection has a little Mickey head cut out. So another fun little detail. It's always in the details, just like they have a custom lining. So you can see the lining in here has the Harvey's H logo and the wheel from the boat. And I have two more Harvey pieces. They are both from the newest Little Mermaid collection. One is this really cute little coin purse type thing. I think you can use this more as just like a little coin purse because I like the strap. It's more like a wristlet, right? Like you can put more stuff in here, but this is their custom print for the Little Mermaid collection. So they have this print and a lot of different silhouettes and a lot of different options, but I love like how bright and colorful it is. I love Ariel looking really cute and it has two more really fun charms. So you have a dingle hopper and then you have a shell that says part of your world. Also from the Little Mermaid collection is this really wild flounder bag. He's so stinking cute. So they have this like really goldy seat belt that's really fun. His face is so adorable and big. And the back I think is actually quite beautiful is this really bold stripe. Like this looks like flounder. Like what a great Disney bound piece to have if you're doing Ariel because you can have flounder or you can have like the idea of flounder, which I think is really cool. You kind of get two very different looks from the same bag just by being able to flip it around. Not 100% sure what this silhouette is called, but you've got a handle option or a cross body strap option. But Harvey's does a lot of different Disney collabs and you can find a lot of the pieces in the park as well as online. But if you get them in the park, you can use an AP discount. So pro tip. I have saved the best for last and that is my irregular choice collection. I I live for everything a regular choice. They are bright and bold and loud. A lot of people are like, wow, that is a lot. They are by definition the most extra bags I think I've ever seen anybody do. And they don't just do bags, but they do shoes. And I have three irregular choice bags. One being from their latest Toy Story collab. And that is this amazing Jessie bag. It has fringe, it has bows, it has buckles, it has a cactus print, it has a badge, more fringe in the back, it has Andy on the bottom of it. Man, irregular choice friggin' goes there. Everything they do is always so over the top. This bag is giant, like this is this bag next to my head. Me and Jesse are about the same size. It's very much and I love it. I'm just ugh, like you can fit everything in there. You can honestly use this as an overnight bag if you wanted. Really bright fun metallic on the inside. I love this big old star at the end of this exposed zipper. Like you know why not have something super fun at the end there. There's also a crossbody option for this bag in this cow print. God every time I'm looking at it, I'm like the denim, the embroidery. The only thing I think this bag doesn't have is glitter. 
I think that might be the only, oh no, the glitter's right here. They got it all. They got it all. My next irregular choice piece, I don't even know that I can put it all in frame because it is the biggest purse. This is the legit purse, all right? It is the biggest purse I have ever seen. It is, I think, a little bit over two feet wide. It's from their Mickey Mouse collection and it's reversible. So you got Minnie Mouse on one side, you've got Mickey on the other. I have used this bag. Like, Mickey is actually pretty dirty. I've got to figure out a way to clean him, but you can see, like, how much I've actually used this bag. So when I say, like, these are my favorite things and they are really out there and I love them, I mean it. But, dang, you guys, most of it's nylon. You can kind of hear that. A little bit silky. You get to a different, maybe it's like a neoprene for the face, but all of the details are embroidered, which is like a very, very high stitch count. So to get in this bag, it does zipper, but to make this a little bit easier, the ears also unvelcro. So you can get like all the way in there. Like you could fit a small child in this bag. You can't even see how deep it is because it's folding in over itself. But like it is... It is huge. Man, oh man, oh man. This bag gives me on the feels. Lastly is my current favorite purse that I own. I think about it when I'm not using it and it brings me so much joy. And that is this Irregular Choice Toy Story bag featuring Rex and Ham. And I will tell you why this bag makes me so incredibly happy. For one, there's a lot of purple going on. There's a metallic purple, but look at this, it's fur. There is faux purple fur on either side of this bag. Second of all, we got Rex, super underrated Toy Story character, not even gonna lie, but the details in this bag, you guys tell, like Rex has googly eyes. Rex has googly eyes. <sighs> Every like the more I look at this bag, the more I would just become absolutely enamored with it. It's fantastic. We have the Toy Story logo actually embroidered on top of this custom print, which features so much of Rex. We have metallic and then glittery details down here. Like I said, the googly eyes. These little details are even embroidered on top of him. You get around on the other side, right? And we got ham. We got ham on top of Andy's wall cloud print. And what makes this side fun also is you get kind of like bonus characters. This is Potato Head, Rex is repeated back here, a little bit of Buzz, Bullseye. Most importantly though, we get a little bit of Wheezy. We get a little Green Army Man. You can see that Ham's ears are kind of floppy. And this bag has a lot of space inside. I didn't realize that it would have this much space. So you've got two different closures on it. You can use the handle or it comes with this crossbody strap. It is Rex's eyes along the whole thing and the opposite side is a really fun glittery metallic texture fun thing. Uh, this bag is from their Toy Story collection, which is their newest Disney collection. There's pieces that I still really want. They had a Muppets collection with Menomina backpack that like I'm dying over. But for now, this is my favorite Disney bag that I own out of all of these that I showed you. It was a lot Thanks for sticking that out because there was a lot to cover. Like I said, they will all be posted down below if you are looking for them at any point. But let me know what your favorite one was. You know what my favorite one is, but I think it's really hard to choose because so many are so different. So give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys later. Bye.